Okay, so you guys know I make a lot of tutorials showing you guys how you can edit your own Fortnite montages, but I don't often cover Premiere Pro. So in today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be covering Premiere Pro and how you could edit your very own professional Fortnite montage in 2024. But if you guys do enjoy and you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out the links at the top of the description and let's get right into it. Okay, so one of the main things that you guys need for this tutorial to actually follow along, obviously, is Premiere Pro. So make sure that you have that installed. You can download this by going over to the Creative Cloud website downloaded creative cloud but obviously you do actually need an adobe account so make sure to go create that download premiere pro and i'll see you guys once you guys have done that now to start what we're going to do is we're going to boot up premiere pro and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to new project and we're going to name it sample montage whatever you know we're just going to press create and from there the first step is actually going to be importing our files so if you guys don't know the three main components of a montage are the clips the music and the effects so the first thing we're going to import is the music so i'm gonna go find a random eight eric reference song so pay me i'm gonna drag that in and then i'm gonna find a folder wherever i have fortnite clips saved to so for example this one right here or just to be safe i'm gonna use this one so then once we have these two dragged in here we're gonna focus on the number one step syncing and quickly before i get into the tutorial i want to quickly mention my brand new 2024 ultimate editing pack that i literally just released and this pack includes absolutely everything you could possibly need for anything involving editing content etc i have over 100 different fortnite presets as well as stuff for your content tiktok and youtube automation library video and audio memes practice clips for fortnite practice footage for editing your own videos literally anything you could ever imagine i don't have the link to actually go check it out down below so make sure to go check it out it literally costs less than a mcdonald's meal and you're going to be able to make so much money from these different presets to actually edit your own stuff or edit client stuff but i don't want to take up any more time so go check it out using the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment and let's get right back to the video so we're going to drag in the song into our timeline right here to actually make a sequence and the thing about premiere pro is we can see the audio waveform so it's super easy for syncing so we're going to make sure we have our headset on for this because you know we obviously need to do that i don't know why my sequence settings are off so always make sure that your settings are correct make sure make sure fps is good as well okay so we can see just by looking here this we can see this is where the song starts to get crazy and have like some beat drops so we're going to be looking out for these and this little thing will allow us to zoom in and out in case you guys didn't know that so this is actually gonna be our first beat drop so i'm gonna add a marker by pressing m we're gonna find that other beat drop and if you guys see i'm adding a second marker that's because you know second little claps after the beats are really good transition points so i'll get to that later but basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my blade tool by pressing b and i'm just going to cut on either side of these markers so i have a little bit of a workspace here i just have two clips worth of bang I'm gonna open this, uh, this be boom okay so that's that now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to double click on these clips here and preview it in the top left so the thing about dragging in an entire clip is there's so much clip and you kind of need to cut it down and all that but if we go in the top left here we can pick the in point by pressing this mark in and we can press the out point or we can press o you can either press this or press o uh, but we're gonna make sure we mark in and out before and after the kill and i'm gonna make sure we actually drag this down to the second layer so we're gonna line up the marker on on the music with the kill itself so this can be indicated with you know getting pellets on for example boom there's that first kill and then if we do the mark in and out here so we come before the kill this is the kill right here so we're gonna press o after and then we're also gonna come and also we're gonna come before and press i to mark in now we're gonna find the kill where we get the shotgun pellets and add m at a marker drag this out like this drag this out like that and boom there we go okay now for velocity it's super simple all you have to do is use my highlight velocity preset and along with the presets that i have in the video for free i have a ton of presets in my edit pack which i just talked about earlier in the video so if you guys want to go check that out go check it out i got premiere pro presets in there so if you are new to the software the pack will really help you out it'll get you off the ground and have you editing at a professional level in no time so we can see right here the thing about all my presets is i have a frame label on it so it makes it super easy for you guys to use so for example the three frames back all we have to do is go into the kill go one two three frames back we're going to cut that top layer drag on the preset boom and then we're gonna do that with the first kill as well 
go one, two, three frames back, cut it, drag this on. Boom, low velocity. Boom. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, nest them, select it, nest them because you know we also need to add the kill effects so the thing about my presets is like i mentioned they have frame labels and i'm not gonna have all these for free in the description but i'll have one impact for you guys to use and let me just quickly show you so we can see the screen pump clean impact is 23 frames back so we go 23 frames before super clean impact is one frame before so i'm just gonna go one frame before press b cut it drag that on there but for example guys i also have these individual effects that you guys can use but i have a ton of presets for premiere pro in my brand new 2024 editing pack um, that's basically how you do that now another cool thing how do you do transitions all you got to do i'll have the link down below is download premiere pro composer now all you got to do from there is go to starter pack you'll go to transitions you can literally drag a zoom in transition just like this just drag and drop super easy drag it in like this and then we'll also make sure that we turn the whoosh layer down by going up here to level look at that transition it looks super cool super clean and we literally just needed to drag and drop it if that's not simple i don't know what is but that is basically kind of how you get the gist of editing a mo montage basically you know you do the syncing you do the velocity you do the impacts the build-ups the transitions sometimes color correction but that is a tutorial for another day if you guys want me to do a advanced tutorial let me know down below for you premiere guys if you guys did enjoy go check out my editing pack it's in the description i have a basic five dollar pack that requires everything you need to get off the ground in terms of editing but i also have a ten dollar pack which contains absolutely anything you could ever need and will make you a great and professional editor literally just go pick it up but yeah both of those are in the description as well as the link to check out premiere composer hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe and i will see you guys later peace out